Hey, what's going on, chess lovers? This is uh, Maurice Bishop Chess. See, I know my slogan life is a game of chess. Alright, guys, so uh, when, I, when I was actually um, doing this uh, video, I was actually showing y'all the speed run for from 1200 um, and all that, but for some reason, uh, I'm not sure what happened, but my camera stopped and didn't wind up recording none of my stuff, so. So, I mean, obviously, I made it to 1736 right now, but uh, that's about it. Uh, but it's going. But anyway, guys, let's get to this. Um, obviously, we're playing the Black Lion. You know, that's what we're doing here. Okay, so we're going to go B5. B5 is where we're going to go. Um, okay, uh, we are going to take this. Um, he has some tricks that I don't know about or something. Is like is that what it is? I mean I don't really know, but uh Yeah, I'm gonna just go knight g four. Okay, uh me eight. And the crazy part is I'm throwing a queen catchers on E five, so if I really wanna simplify I can you know, but the knight is under attack. And everything. Um, how do I really want to do this though? Because even the e6 thing is not going to really save him at all. So I'm going to just go rook f8. Alright, that's still not a problem. Because I can still come here. Okay. Still threatening the, the knight. Okay, bishop e seven. Okay. So what now? All right. Uh, queen b six check. I mean, this dude is really trying to. He's trying to do some things here. He's really trying to do some things here. Um, what can I do? What is more effective, actually? I want to say this B4 is more effective. Now, if he decides to... Okay, so let's see what he goes... Let's see where he goes from here. Alright, so the whole point is Bishop A6 check. So yeah, this is not going to look pretty for him. Alright, so we'll bring that rook to that um, D file. We'll go queen D8 check. And um, yeah, this is going to be um, pretty over. Very, very over. I have to say. Guys, anytime like your opponent uh, hits you with an attack or whatever, um, you gotta stay calm. You gotta look at all the positions. You know, you gotta look at everything. You know, so you definitely gotta do that. So, so let's see what happens. So, and, uh, and the only reason why this doesn't work, guys, is because it's it, it doesn't work. Uh, King captures. Uh, he goes knight uh, d captures, but I just go knight captures e5, and then once he take, I take back. So even with knight f3, queen c7, uh, knight g4, um, yeah, knight captures g5 here. Now if he maybe if he had like a queen, well I don't really know because uh, I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough though. After me moving a rook over here. And obviously, guys, you don't want to go bishop captures d6. I'm going to show you that. I definitely want to show y'all that. Uh, after here, uh, you don't want to go bishop captures because of this uh, d captures uh, or the e captures d6, where uh, the queen is checking the king and then um, he's hitting my queen. So that's like one of those oldest tricks. Which is why I go king d8. 
Uh, he takes, um, he didn't have to take at all. Um, King B8. So they said Bishop F4 was better, which is what he should have did, but... Yeah, but I, I think after, after this, I'm winning. I'm, like, I'm winning. They said B4 was a blunder. But I don't see how. Oh, probably because of the knight capture C8. Because uh, the whole point of me going bishop A6. So I, I understand. I understand why. And initially, bishop E6 was my um, plan. That's what I wanted to do. But I did it that way, so. But yeah. Alright, let's go to the next one. Alright, uh. So B6. I didn't get a chance to play my secret weapon opening for black, though. Now we get a chance to play it. Alright, Queen E7. Alright, we'll go bishop b7. I like to switch stuff up. Castle queen side. Uh, we'll go knight f6, hitting the knight on e or hitting the pawn on e4. Um, that is a threat. Now, if he goes bishop d3, we got bishop d4 moves. Uh, we got a couple of things we could do here. Um, wow. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Well, we're gonna go uh, bishop b4 now. We're gonna go there. So now we got he's pinned, and um, huh? What do I want to do? I'm gonna just go 95. I'm gonna go 95 for this. So not only is he not gonna be able to cancel queen side, but now. This is under attack. If he cancels king side, um, we should have some stuff for that. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Especially because I have knight d5 coming. And I really like that, um, that um, bishop. Really do like that bishop there. So I am going to take that though. I do open up the B five for myself, but you know, but he shouldn't have enough pieces. So now, if I can get that dark square bishop, that'll be awesome. Uh, that'll be pretty awesome, huh? So he's giving me a free point. I'll take that. So now I have a one, uh, so I have a winning end game right now. He has double pawns. Uh, my pawn structure is pretty straight. Uh, I got a, yeah, so I kind of, wow. So you just giving me free pieces? Wow. And you can't check me because my rook is here. So yeah, he just gave me um, a free piece. That is um, awesome. I love it though. Oh my goodness. Ooh, he gave me a free queen too. It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas here. That is definitely like Christmas. Alright, so. Now nah, we'll go see three. See what happens. Alright, this is C4. Uh, we'll go bishop b3. I'm gonna just castle. I think it's the right thing to do. Mm, h3. Alright, now I can get to go e5 now. That queen is, he just blocked, this was like very passive, because uh, he just blocked. Um, Alright, so now I have knight d5 now, hitting um, the dark square bishop. Uh, I do have plans of going rook e1. 
uh, with something else I do want to do. Uh, also, I do want to sack. Like, I want to sack so bad right now. I really do. Um, so now I'm going to go bishop f4 because now I'm aiming at this uh, pawn on d6, in which I'm tearing all the walls down. Um, Alright, so we'll go over e one. Uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do here? Alright, we'll go rook c1. The knight on d5 is going to be uh, a pain for him, which is why he took. Okay. Queen D2. Interesting, interesting. So we'll go Bishop B3. Now we got Bishop C2. to go g4 and the whole point of this guys is I want to get my queen on d3 which is why I'm doing it and then if he does take my rook it's not a problem because I still get the e file and then also I'm still that knight is still under attack so yeah so as you see he's just um I don't know why he gave up his knight. He could have done something else, but I'm going to just take with the bishop. Wow. A free queen. Yeah, he just resigned. I was going to go um, bishop captures on d6 and stuff. That's what I was going to go for. But, uh... But yeah, alright, oh, I was going to do a thing, alright, let's see what else, this is c4, these people play these awkward moves, I don't understand, so knight c6, H3. I kind of understand it a little bit. The whole point of it. Queen D2. The thing is, he is hitting this uh, pawn on e4, uh, which is the whole point. But I am going to just come here, though. Hmm. So, bishop c5? Maybe? Okay, I don't have to take it at all. I don't have to take that. So, but I can go um, here, a4, and not to come 92. All right. So, I feel like I am gonna have to take the queen e3. Not sure why I did that.
Yeah, I'm not sure why I did that at all. And I don't think I have nothing sneaky to do. Oh yeah, this just um hurts. Yeah, I'm tripping. <laughs> 